Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign for president is certainly intensifying now after she's now secured enough votes for the Democratic nomination. The big question today and for the rest of the week, who will be her running mate? Bill Keller live for us in St. Paul where we know Governor Tim Wallace is still in the mix. A lot of people say he's on the short list. Bill, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, and then there were three. Ever since Kamala Harris became the presumptive Democratic nominee, experts and armchair pundits alike have been trying to read the tea leaves. They're looking for any clues that will give an idea of who she will pick in her bid for the White House. Now, from early on, that search has included Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. This weekend, Governor Walz canceling his plans to attend a rally in New Hampshire. That made him available for an in-person interview, reportedly meeting with the vice president in Washington, D.C. Now, other VP options include Arizona Senator Mark Kelly and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Both of those men also meeting with Harris. Now, political analysts say uh, they're giving their thoughts on what the governor's chances are with the rest of the field. He's actually, people are campaigning for him. Yesterday, Bernie Sanders was in town campaigning for Ilhan Omar. He came right out and said, I think it should be Tim Walz. Um, and other people have done that. And so there is this sense of momentum that uh, Governor Walz has this populist, uh, he's the populist choice. Yeah, bottom line, we won't have to wait too much longer to find out who Harris picks. She and her choice of running mates, they're going to speak together at a rally tomorrow night in Philadelphia. And that's all part of a seven-city tour that will include a stop in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. On Wednesday, a lot of swing states they'll be traveling to. Now, on Friday, state DFL leaders sent a letter to Kamala Harris endorsing Governor Walls as an excellent choice for a running mate. In fact, in that letter, they cite his inspirational vision for making Minnesota the best state in the nation for children and families. We'll have to see how that aligns with her agenda. Back to you guys. Yeah.